We're also staying on top of the massive surge in migrants making the dangerous journey to South Florida by sea. Right, for the first time we're seeing state resources arriving in the Florida Keys to help after the governor signed an executive order. And our Janine Stanwood is live in Marathon with more on this. Janine. We are here at the Border Patrol Station in Marathon, where agents have been incredibly busy. Just this morning alone, two migrant landings, more than 50 people coming ashore. And for the first time, you said it, we are seeing those state resources, FHP troopers and FDLE agents. More migrants coming to the Florida Keys Sunday morning on homemade boats. But at this scene in Marathon, where about 25 men came ashore, a new addition. That is a Florida Highway Patrol trooper. This comes after the governor signed this executive order to activate the National Guard and add more state resources to the Keys. Some of those resources are now here. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement and FHP setting up this command post. The governor made that decision. And his leadership, he uh, brought those agencies together and said, we're going to respond to this. We're going to do what's best for Florida. This is coordinator Kevin Guthrie, head of the Division of Emergency Management, who spoke on this week in South Florida. We're going to attempt to uh, supplement the uh, United States Coast Guard and help them on identifying and targeting vessels uh, that are coming here illegally. This comes after a trying week for law enforcement in the Keys. That is Fort Jefferson in the distance. We were there when more than 330 migrants were put on a Coast Guard cutter. They were elated and waving after being stranded in the dry Tortugas New Year's weekend. Como se siente? The Marathon Border Patrol station was overflowing with other groups during the week. Hello. The surge in migration among people from Haiti and Cuba over the last year hitting a tipping point this last week. Landings and interdictions a daily occurrence. The feds are also beefing up their resources. U.S. Border Patrol tells us that here in the Florida Keys, they're actually adding special ops personnel as well as medical teams. There's also a meeting tomorrow at 1130 with members of the county government as well as state officials. We'll be there for that. We're in Marathon. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.